Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March 3rd, 2023. We're going to talk about Tesla today uh, because apparently the market thinks that Elon has bombed on his investor day. I really think that people went in with high expectations and it wasn't fulfilled as to what they expected to get from the investor day. But nevertheless, the market did take a hit in the stock price in Tesla, down 5.85% on the day. Take a look at some of these Google News articles right here. Tesla stock down sharply as investor day lacks. Details on next gen car. Okay, take a look at this. If Tesla investor day was about exciting investors, then boy, did it fail. Tesla stock slumped 6% after disappointing investor day. Look at Fortune article. Look at this title. Elon Musk lands a belly flop as Tesla bulls label his investor day a quote waste of time see people came into the market with some high expectations they was expecting elon to come up with some new idea some new vehicle that he's going to offshoot into the market and that wasn't even the case now they're trying to equate that to why price in tesla went down almost six percent that's not the reason the reason why price in tesla has gone down is because if you guys seen my prior video on the 26th of february we are already seeing price hit resistance that's the only reason why price is going down in tesla the market attempted to continue to push price up but the buyers as you can tell hasn't been successful that's the reason not the investor day so let's talk about this real quick because currently look at where the price in tesla is trading it's trading right here on our trend line is Tesla going to break the trend line? That is a question that we need to try to determine today because if it is, then it lets us know that we need to cut this price prediction and play the move to the downside. Now, given how swift price in Tesla did go down 6% yesterday, that definitely is an option that's on the table. Let's look at this on the wiki chart. And this is another idea for you is when you see price on a consecutive basis, unable Okay, unable to break up. It's kind of like a lid and, and people are trying to break through the roof and they're unsuccessful. Look at all of these weekly price bars. Four consecutive weeks, a whole month of trading. The market attempted to break its price above 210 and we're not successful. Even look at this current price action on this weekly price bar. Look, we're down here toward the bottom of the bar we don't want that to conclude that way granted we have nine hours left but this doesn't look ideally good for the bulls or the buyers it doesn't look good take a look at this on the two weeks look at this on the three week chart nine hours and eight minutes left look at that so i think we have an idea as to okay so far price is not going to go higher right now the bulls currently are not involved into this particular market. They're pumping the brakes. People are looking at, okay, we did see a, a pretty good run in the month of January. The price may be expensive right now. Okay. So, to me, considering all of the information that we've seen so far on this video, price unable to break above 210 looking at the weekly time frame the two weeks and the three weeks have how weak price looks on that time frame i think the greater probability of where price is going to go in tesla is to the downside this is going to go lower so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to cut this last price prediction out the buyers were unable to convince the market that they're willing to break price above 210 and it just didn't work itself out that way Let's go ahead and cut this out. That's 8.02% loss right there. Let's get right back into position. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transpose this trend line because I don't suspect that price is trending anymore. And we're going to look for the market in Tesla to come to some areas of support. Okay. So that is our support, ultimate area support. Meaning if we're going to continue to see price in Tesla in the long term, i.e. six months from now to go higher, 
we don't want to see the market in Tesla break 160. If we see price throughout the rest of 2023 break 160 to the downside, then understand that this was simply the market getting hit with this overall downtrend. Let's not forget that the price is still trending lower in the long term, right? So we're still in a downtrend into the market in Tesla. The market has just simply broken away from the downtrend. And now it's trying to come back up to it. We want to see price break that downtrend line, but if it doesn't, we already know what we're in for. Okay. So let's go ahead and prepare ourselves for some slight weakness to occur into the market in Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and put on a price prediction real quick. I got a couple of targets uh, that I'm going to look for the market in Tesla to run. Okay. I'm going to show it to you. Go ahead and give you those price targets now. We're going to expect price to go down as long as the market trades below. Let's do 216. Perfect. I'm looking at around like 210 though. First target in Tesla is going to be here around $180. That's 5.55%, around 180 there. My second target is going to be down here around 170 10.92 170 there my third target is here 162 163 dollars 14 and three quarters there and 162 dollars and 66 cents give or take that is it i am done everyone give me your thoughts about tesla where do you think the market is headed i've shown you what i think price is up to over the next couple of trading days weeks we'll see where we at make sure you maintain the profitability and as always